Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Tor Teacher Ariel, where every week or so, we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. What does it mean that the church is the bride of Christ? 2 Corinthians 11.2 from the ESV reads, quote, For I feel a divine jealousy for you, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. End quote. This is just one verse among many that reveals to us, in no uncertain terms, that the bride of Christ is none other than the body of true believers from Jews and Gentiles, chosen of God to live with Him in eternity. I hold to a theology that teaches that remnant Israel is in fact the bride of Christ. According to Romans 11, 17-24, some unfaithful branches, the unsaved Jews, are broken off to make room for wild olive branches, the Gentiles in Christ. But the bride as a whole does not replace national Israel as a whole, since the bride is actually incorporated into remnant Israel. God does not have two brides. And since God has not rejected his bride, national Israel, since he is able to graft unsaved branches back in if they do not persist in unbelief, this means the very existence of the bride of Christ also provides us a glimpse into the ontological nature of God the Father and God the Son, with the bride themes overlapping to provide the connection. 